Hello, welcome everyone. Welcome to this uh, mini project brief for the uh, sensors and instrumentation module. Now in this uh, mini project brief, uh, you have been tasked to work as an assistant engineer where you will design a simple elevator controller program or rather a simulator. So uh, a mini project brief is as shown on this video recording on the screen here. So let's quickly do a read up here. Now assuming that you are working as an assistant engineer at a local engineering company called uh, Tech Advanced Automation Private Limited. So mainly your, your company do uh, design projects uh, using a variety of uh, automation software. So one of them is using LabVIEW. So imagine that your company has recently received a project contract from one of the local nursing home for the elderly where this project involved designing a simple elevator controller uh, uh, on using a, a pneumatic elevator system. Uh, right? Now these pneumatic elevator systems are not very common but uh, it only can be used for serving very low floors, uh, for example two-story high kind of a uh, building. Right, where in this case the project uh, involves uh, this elevator that actually transports uh, catering food uh, in stainless steel containers. Right, so basically just a write up. Uh, this is just an example write up. Right, where the elevator will only uh, serve two floors. Uh, one floor is called the ground level, and then of course it also has the first level. Uh. So in this project, there is one uh, call button that controls the elevator. So he has two values are up or down. Also, there are two lights uh, indicator in the elevator that indicates the current floor, whether is it ground level or first level. And at each step, time step, the controller will check and report the current floor status. Right? And uh, also depends on the input. It will change floor and the lights in the very obvious way, which later on you will see uh, a more uh, precise description of the running front panel program. Huh? So now also in this uh, description, right, this uh, pneumatic elevator has a built-in ultraviolet uh, decontaminator huh, as you can see here. Okay, so it has a UV device. Huh? It's basically a decontaminator because uh, imagine that this uh, elevator transports food, right? So you need to keep the, the uh, carriage huh, for this elevator clean at all times. Huh? Yeah, so uh, the program will uh, call upon this function to decontaminate the carriage. Huh? So you can see on this diagram, there's a uh, ground floor. There is a uh, first floor as well. Huh? Okay, so as, and of course, there's a UV, UV device here. Now let's take a look further on. Huh? Now your client, uh, imagine you're in this project team. Your client has requested that you design this uh, simulator uh, uh, project program in lab view so you need to design a front panel something like this over here All right but there will be several of these buttons control buttons that should be on the lab view front panel itself so we should have which is very clearly specified here so you should have a start uh, the let the words are in bold uh. so you should have a stop but stop button you have a start button you have a call button uh, which I'll show you later there's a maintenance button and as well as a set target which will be described to you shortly. Now there are also several indicators uh, over here as well. Okay, there are the uh, elevator status, right? And also there is an elevator LED which will continuously blink, uh, okay, uh, to indicate that the program is running. Okay, and also there is a decontamination uh, LED here. As you can see over here right so this is the front panel and also the uh, how long the UV decontamination can take place is determined by the set target time which is shown here the set target so you can set let's say 8 seconds or 10 seconds so the the program will do the decontamination of the carriage now the program can also be terminated by the stop button at any at, at any point in time and uh, the program, this program, simulator program will only uh, act be activated when the start button is being uh, pushed. Lah. 
okay so at any point in time uh, when the program is running there's a call button eh, where you can call the lift to go to the ground floor or go to the first floor all right uh, and also there's a maintenance button here la, where the when the program is uh, when this button is being pressed the program the elevator will go into the maintenance mode okay so now your task is to design this controller simulator in lab view okay now uh, I will show you a more detailed description of the uh, operation of the front panel uh, in another video. Eh? Okay, so where necessary in this project, you mini project, you are tasked to design this controller simulator in lab view. Now please consider using the state machine design that you have learned, for example, through the traffic light state machine controller program that you have done. Okay, now you are advised or encouraged to draw any state transition diagram or state table when necessary. Eh? So upon completion of this project, you can demonstrate this to your instructor. Okay, I think I will pause the recording here and then I will go to do the next recording to show you the functionality in LabVIEW for the front panel itself. So I'll pause my recording here. Thanks for watching.